Well, that makes our little March snowstorm look not so bad, that's for sure. And hey, we might be talking about a couple of inches of rain as we go throughout and really the next couple of days. We're looking live from our Lebanon Skycam right now, and it is pretty cloudy here, although we have had some peaks of sunshine here and there. Current temperature, though, is in the mid 40s. We'll probably only top out near 50 in most spots later on today. Southeast breeze about 8 miles per hour, and that's in anticipation of our next storm system, which will arrive with some rain starting potentially later on this evening, a couple of showers. But as you can see, radar right now, at least over us, is quiet. We do have some showers off to our north and east, and that's along uh, a little bit of a boundary that's uh, set up just to our north and east. Temperatures are in the 40s so far, but we are tracking a few more showers that are moving through western PA right now, and they may try to give us a few light rain showers uh, later on this afternoon and into this evening. But it's really overnight and tomorrow that the bulk of this system begins to move eastbound towards us. And yeah, it's going to be setting up for a rainy Friday ahead. Through the day, rest of today in the News 8 Storm Team forecast, turning cloudy and a few of those evening showers. Can't rule them out here as you're uh, headed out and about later on. Cooler temperatures around 50 degrees for our highs. It's a couple of degrees below average for this time of the year. Now into tonight, we're just straight overcast with uh, rain developing in most of our areas. It'll start off light, maybe some drizzle at first, and then it could potentially turn heavy, especially as we go into tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon. Could be heavy at times throughout the entire day. I don't think anyone escapes the rain tomorrow. Breezy and cool highs tomorrow in the upper 40s, but we do need the rain. We're currently in a moderate drought for most of the Susquehanna Valley, including the big cities. And as we pull out, this is actually a pretty sizable area, at least in abnormally dry conditions, if not in that moderate drought or even a severe drought into near the DC area. I spoke to the National Weather Service earlier this morning and we talked about exactly how much rain might be needed to break the drought. And right now that number stands at about three to six inches of rain, but we need it over about a four week period. So you need it over a period of time. You don't want it all to come at once because then it'll all wash into the rivers, wash down uh, into the Chesapeake Bay and that's uh, we won't see much help on the ground, but if we can get this over an extended period of time, that'll help us out with that drought. And I think we could actually verify the lower end of this range really over the next week. It's possible and as we look at the radar right now. Yeah, we've got a couple of showers and a couple of thunderstorms too that are popping up near the Pittsburgh area. I think a lot of those will lose their punch as they move eastbound through the day today. Notice how predictor just kind of dries them out. Then we head into the overnight hours or this evening and overnight. We start to see some of that rain beginning to develop right over us. So tomorrow morning, probably a soggy commute. And then that rain could turn heavy at times, especially tomorrow afternoon as we see this area of low pressure moving in very close to us. So that could provide a lot of lift, some heavier bursts of rain, certainly not out of the question tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening before the storm pulls away. So a couple of rain showers not out of the question Saturday morning, but it does look like we get into some drier conditions by Saturday afternoon. There could be some stronger storms down to our south, but what that's telling me is that we may see some convection and that could put down some higher rain totals. I think a good ballpark is about one to two inches of rain, pretty much widespread across the state. Although you could see that yellow strip there, there could be some areas locally higher amounts than that. So that is something we're watching for. I don't expect this to be a flooding situation, but the rivers, creeks and streams will probably be on the rise from this. As we head into the weekend itself, breezy conditions, mild on Sunday. That's when we're drying out, but increasing clouds and maybe another shower chance later Monday and another chance for some rain as we go into Tuesday. So like I said, we could verify that lower end of the three to six range that we need to get out of this drought within the next week without the rain that we uh, certainly do need. I think the farmers and a lot of folks that have gardens certainly could use some rain. Yeah, absolutely. And as you say, better over a over a long period, period of, time. of time. That's right. Okay. All right. Thanks, Matt. Mm -hmm.